guys, now we're gonna um, take our spoiler off. Huh? In the corner. The corner? Oh, dang. Okay, so now we're trying to take our spoiler off. These freaking little things right here. There's also one more right here, too. Yeah, these little clips are, man, those are the worst part of taking a spoiler off. But uh, we kind of have most of it off. I'm just going to... I'm going to try to snap this one. It's not going to work, dude. There we go. I just snapped that one off. And now that, how's you going to get that on? Just push it from inside. At least the spoiler's off. And then same thing on this side. And boom, just like that. Have the spoiler off. This is a pain to take these spoilers off. Geesh. I'm going to to the side. And now we're just going to clean up our trunk. Remove these little clips and stuff remaining. And our spoiler should be off. So we got the spoiler off um, a lot easier, easier than I got mine off when I did my um, accord, mostly because I learned my lesson. So we got it off. We patched the holes with um, with the duct tape, and uh, it's pretty strong. It's, it's pretty firm. It sealed the holes correctly, and uh, we, we doubled the tapes and stuff. Put in one layer. We put two layers of each holes, so it kind of seals to keep up the moisture from getting inside your lights and your trunk. So everything is all sealed back here, uh, pretty neat and nice. And now we're just gonna prime in. Uh, we're gonna prime these. So the, the spoiler itself, I'm gonna prime it with some adhesive promoter right here, double side tape, and pretty much get it on there and it's gonna look pretty sick. So let's get cracking with that because it's getting cold. So our spoiler is all um all taped up. We use practically like half a roll of double side tape in here. And we use some adhesive promoter as well to kind of make everything stick. So right now we'll just clean up a trunk and honestly you should we measure this, it, it aligns perfectly the trunk, like everything kind of fits perfect and the alignment and the fitment is really good, so that's the best part. So right now we're just gonna give this a little, few more seconds to dry off and then we're gonna install this and see um, how much better the, the rear end of this Accord looks. Yeah, that sticks guys it's so we heat it um before we peel the um the, the liner off on um, the the film we um use the heater to heat it up i add some um adhesive promoter on there and then bam just stick it on here and uh it's looking pretty good um how's your side looking and you can see the tape on your side <laughs> where Yeah, so we just uh, installed the Accord uh, emblem on here. Uh, I heated it up with a heat gun or um, a hairdryer um, and then just use a template to install it. And that looks, that looks quite sick. 
It looks crooked, but I think it was already crooked to begin with. Like the entire accord. Um, yeah. Yeah, it has like a weird spot like here in the trunk, so it looked crooked. But I'm gonna install a 2.0T now down here. And let's see. We could do this one as well. So I'm gonna go warm this one up real quick. It's jacked up, it's really too late to turn back. So, have this installed. And I think it looks pretty good. Right, let's peel it off of here. Let's peel it off. Is it jacked up? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, that's perfect. Oh, that's crazy. It's exactly in the same position. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same position as we took it off from. Dang. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got it back in the same position we took it off from. So, not bad. Good, good on me for first attempt. So we have the rear end of the Accord um, done. And like I said, uh, viewer discretion, the lights on the diffuser looks as if it's blinking on camera, but it's really not. Like it's a camera's uh, frame rate that's causing it to, to blink. So we have the, the rear end pretty much finished. The black 2.0T badges. Mm. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good, man. It's, it, it looks exactly like, uh, like my, my Accord. Dang, I love it. But now we're just gonna clean up our little area and then we're gonna start with uh with our front lip and another um other mod we have for today. Alright, so we're just gonna put this lip on here now. Um it's kind of simple, just stick it on there and just fasten it pretty much. So that's pretty much all held down by um, the outside tape, which again, I definitely recommend that you, you preheat it. So use like a heater, um, a heat gun, whatever you got, a hair dryer, just use something of heat to um, heat a dump side tape and then just go ahead and uh, stick it on it with using uh, an adhesive for motor. Now we just have to put um, the center piece on. So unfortunately the 21 bumper isn't designed like my 2020 when I installed my, um, my lip on my Honda. So, uh, me removing that center piece from under here to the center tray isn't really going to be do any much right now because I can't use the locking um, the nut and bolt method on this one because of the way this lip is designed. So we're just going to use um just use the self tapping screws to just uh, put it on there because it won't really work the way I I thought it would have um, for this bumper design at least because I, in there, I can't get my hand underneath here to. To lock the to lock the nuts when I put it in, so it's kind of pointless. And this tray right here, for some reason, is not coming out. But let me just uh, keep trying to see if I could maybe come up with something other than just some um, screws. So for this side, it's the same thing. Uh, just um, align it from the from the side clips to the wheels. Put it on there and um, get your double side tape in place, and just push pretty much. Now I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and um, put the middle piece on. So the middle piece kind of just um, snap in a place with these two. Okay. 
like this this one is a bit of an odd design. I really think it's so odd. The fitment on, the, on this one isn't even that great. But we're gonna make it work. This one in place right here. There's another one in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to screw up this up. Alright guys, so that's pretty much how it looks with the front lip on there. It's looking real sexy. Looks real good, I'm not gonna lie. Dang. No, I no I missed my accord, man. I need another one. But yeah, that's a that's a Akasaka front lip. And we he got um uh gloss black handles kind of matching the gloss black uh OEM mirrors as well. We got the trunk there all wrapped in black as well, kind of matching everything as gloss black. And of course, we have the best part of it. Got the keys? Got the keys? Yeah. Yes, unlock it. Okay. There we go. Got the lights. You just simply not do that. <laughs> the tail lights looking so good on here. So good. Black 2 point badges. The Akasaka um, diffuser, which have plastic on here. I'm gonna peel it off sometime. That looks really good. And then we did the diffuser lights as well. The bumper lights, reflector lights, sorry. So I'll try to put a link in the description for all of these. And if you want your record to look like this, just go to um, the description of the, uh, of the videos. I don't know, I might, I might break this video into several videos just to not make it too long. So maybe two or three videos, Probably one on the light separate and then one on the, the front lip um, separate. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I'm editing. But yeah, this is how the car looks. I, I think it's stunning. Black door handles. It's looking really neat. And then we blacked out the, the front grille as well with the black uh, OEM Honda emblem as well. And yeah, everything is looking really good. Fitment and everything is pretty spot on. I want to say they since the the tenth gen accord ha, um, came out and they start doing all the aftermarket um, parts, I want to say they came a long way in terms of fitment and uh, overall quality because the front lip on this one is way better fitment and quality than when I had my accord, uh, you know, a year or two ago. So they've come out a long way and uh, it's looking real good. So we pretty much got a lot done today, a lot more than we thought we would have. Um, you can see we got. The front lip done, we got the door handles in black. Uh, we got the, the the spoiler done in, in the back as well. And we also got the, the tail lights on there. So we pretty much completed this car. We pretty much did like a month worth of mod on this car today. So it took me uh, a decent amount of time. Um, you can tell it's probably night now. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. And like I said, these videos might be bro broken up into a few different videos just to not make one video too long and uh, kind of exhausting to watch so if you see me break up the videos that's the only reason why so uh so yeah i'll uh, see you guys in the next video peace